freezing out here. One jacket. Oh. Two jackets. Oh boy. Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm experimenting around with cameras and so Again, I'm making a video for you guys. I'm recording this on the Sony ZV-1. I'm not using a, a lav mic or a shotgun mic. I'm using the onboard microphones with a little wind muff on top. So if it's terrible, I'm sorry. But I wanna do something. So everybody knows that this camera is a very good vlogging camera because it's pocketable, the autofocus is great and you can attach a microphone to it. Um, but I wanna know, well, hold on. I can't, I can't show you this yet. I have a confession to make. Yeah, I made that long video about how gas is making me unhappy and what I'm sticking to for one year, and that was the X-Pro2. I made a modification to that because I really was driving me nuts, the parallax correction on the X-Pro2. And so I went back um, to, to this, to my X100V, because it, um, very similar experience, OVF, the parallax correction works, in my opinion, better here. The way I like to use it, um, and I can, you know, this is a 35 mil equivalent. I can get the adapter, to make it 28, or I can make it 50 with the teleconverter. So I'm, I traded the X Pro 2 in for uh, X 100V. Um, so that's that's that. But my question today is, if you wanted to only have one camera to do everything, including vlogging, could it work, and how does it compare to the Sony? And I'm going to do a couple things. First of all, how is this? video quality as it is today. I have it in the portrait profile and this is how it looks. We also want to test the autofocus. What you guys know on Sony is just something amazing. I feel like Tony Northrup is probably really annoying. The other thing we want to check out is, I don't want to drop that, we want to check out is how does it do for stabilization. Now I have this on the standard stabilization, uh, not active, because you active it crops in a little bit too much but you need a little bit of, so I wanted to see is how this does from a uh, stabilization standpoint. Because the X100V has zero stabilization. And so it's a bit of a problem if you're gonna do something like this. We're gonna see just how bad it is and talk about a few things and how you can fix that. So let me flip over to the X100V and we'll check that out. Okay, so right off the rip, a couple things you guys have to know. This is a 23 millimeter F, 23 millimeter F2 lens, which is 35 millimeter equivalent on APS-C or full frame terms. And so it's not really ideal for vlogging. I'm backed up and well, I can't see myself, which is the second point. There's no screen to flip out to see if you're framed properly. Um, they do make little attachments you can put on the top, like a little mirror, but I can't really see if I'm framed properly. Now I do have the tally light turned on, so I do know that I am recording something but I have no idea if I'm in frame or not. Also, the microphone on board is what you're hearing right now. So compare what you heard from the Sony just a minute ago with that wind muff on top to this. Which brings me to the next point. To do, uh, uh, to connect a microphone to your camera, you have to have this adapter right here. And this is the two and a half millimeter to three and a half millimeter headphone adapter. Not a big deal, but if you forget it, good luck finding one of these in a pinch. It ain't gonna happen. So, that's the first thing. Let me connect this, we'll get the audio sounding better. We'll do a little bit of autofocus test and a little bit of stabilization or lack thereof test and just see how 35 millimeters looks um, as I walk around. Okay, so now we are back. I realize this is in the way probably. Hopefully it's not in the lens. So we're now we're back. I have the Rode uh, Wireless Go, whatever this thing's called, I forget, hooked up here. So hopefully the audio is a lot better. Um, so that is the benefit of having a headphone or microphone input as opposed to no microphone. If you can make this work for sure, you just need the adapter. So real quick, let's test out the autofocus performance. Again, I don't know if I'm in frame. I don't know if I'm focused or not. I have it on face and eye detect. Hopefully it's working. Actually, do I have it on face and eye detect? Let me check. Okay, I do have it in face and eye detect. So one thing I do wanna talk about 
is I'm recording this in the Eterna profile. Compare that to the portrait profile out of that Sony. This is in 4K, I was shooting that in 1080. I'll upload this in 1080, see if there's any resolution differences. I think the sensor and the lens on this X100V is better, but it comes with a little bit of a limitation. And I don't know if this is my card limitation or it's the camera's limitation, but it is a 10 minute record limit right now on what I'm shooting, the 4K 24, 200 megabit per second uh, bit rate. So anyways, just wanted to let you guys know that. Let's test some autofocus with my Red Bull can here. They had a deal, two for four bucks. It's not really a good deal, but that's what it was at the gas station. So I got two of them, autofocus. How'd it do, just pick my face up? I have no idea, I can't see. They pick my face up? So that's the autofocus. Now, let's take this thing for a little bit of a walk. And so this is handheld out, my arm is as far out as it can go. And this is what I look like at 35 millimeter. Two things to notice here, the field of view, I can put on the wide angle converter lens to make it 28, which is probably a bit closer to what that ZV-1 is. So I don't have one of those, but that's something to consider. It's, you're not locked into this, but 28 is about the widest you can go as far as I know. I think I've seen some hacks where people are connecting the wide converter from the X70, which makes it even wider, I've heard. Um, but I have to look into that, so don't take that to the bank. So I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna do a little bit of a longer walk because I, this isn't stabilized. This is probably gonna be terrible. But I want you guys to kind of see how bad it is. Again, this is arm out. I'm going down some stairs right now. And we're just walking around. I'm gonna walk a little bit longer than usual because I wanna see if you put this in warp stabilizer in DaVinci Resolve, how much you get fixed. So yes, all that shakiness right now. Right here in the video, I'll put warp stabilizer on and just let me know, how does it look? And uh, this is basically the end of the test because for a lot of videos that I make where I am locked off and I'm not um, moving with the camera like this and I can put a microphone away from the camera, I think this will work. I think it's, I think it's sufficient. For walking, talking pieces, it's probably not. So, I don't know what you guys think. Could you run an entire setup for quick little vlogs if you're not limited by time on this camera in a pinch? Let me know what you guys think. Comments below. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next one. Peace.